this again. Really, guys? Welcome, sir. Any requests tonight? Huh? Oh. Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan are all free tonight. Here's their pictures. It's a thousand extra to make specific requests. So I don't have to pick any of them. I see. Is this your first time here, sir? Why don't we start by picking a duration? Duration? And any options you'd like. Uh, options? Right. Uh, let's start at the top, huh? For durations, we have 35 minutes for 9,000 yen, 50 minutes for 13,000 yen, or 65 minutes for 17,000 yen. Let's do 35 minutes? That will work. Though I'd truthfully suggest staying a little longer. Especially for a first-timer like yourself. Interesting. Ultimately, it's your choice, though. Don't worry, there's no wrong answer. Did you have a specific girl in mind? At the moment, we have Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan. Uh, I'll go with Yuna-chan. Oh, a fine choice, sir. Something wrong, sir? You wanted Yuna-chan, yes? Actually, uh, hold on. Hmm? Change your mind, sir? Just remember, you can't change once the session starts. Right. So we currently have Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan. Who would you like to see? I'll go with... A fine choice. Something wrong. Yep. Great. Next, you can pick any options you'd like to add. There's quite a few. You can discuss those directly with the girl. What kind of options are we talking? Oh, all kinds. Although not every girl is open to everything, you know. All you need to know about Kanai-chan is she doesn't do blindfolds. Bl blindfolds Yes, sir. She had a bad experience with them when she was younger. Sorry to hear that. Guess there have been all those murders lately, too. Yes, well, you came here to forget all of that, yes? Anyway, let me show you to your room. Right this way, sir. <coughs> Come in. Expensive tastes. Sort of out of your price range, huh? Why are you even here? What's going on? Maybe I should be asking you the same question, yeah? <laughs> Not that I need to. Why are you still looking into the Curie murders, Tuck? Keep your eyes to yourself, lest you want to lose them. Are we clear? <laughs> you don't get to decide what I do. Don't go digging up dirt. Shintani went through a lot of work making those charges go away. <laughs> you want to keep playing detective? You ought to work out more. Well, I... got jumped earlier by four assholes wearing ski masks. Yeah? And why should I care? Well, I think... maybe you had something to do with it. I'm pretty sure that's the four of them right there. <laughs> I think you must have my boys confused. 
Right, Kengo? Yeah. No one likes a fucking liar! Kanai-chan oh. <laughs> quit. Packed her bags and went back home. So stop looking for her. Why? I'm gonna let you off with a yellow card this time. <laughs> but only because the boss likes you so much. It's Yagami. You got a sec? Sure. Are you okay? You don't sound too good. I could use a hand with uh, the family captain. I'd really appreciate it if you could get him off my case. I see. Well, uh, I'm just killing time at the office right now. Why don't you come on by? We'll talk. Sounds good. Take a seat. <sighs> Forgive me if this is rude, but I'll cut right to the chase, my boy. Hmm? I don't know what's going on between you and Hamura, but there's nothing I can do to help. What do you mean? You're not even gonna hear my side of the story? You'd just be wasting your time. Hamura's been bankrolling the family for a while now. I get by on the scraps he leaves me. I'm... I'm just a figurehead. But... The clan will do the things I ask of them, yes. But if they had to choose between my orders and Hamura's, who knows? Maybe they would choose not to hear me. How long has it been like this? Years. The prime of my career was... Well, it ended back when I was raising you. Matsugane-san. If only Kaito was still in the family, maybe things wouldn't have turned out like this. We're not done here. Actually, we are. I have a message from Captain Hamura, Yagami-san. He says to go see him right away. He's waiting for you at Cafe Alps. He wants to talk. Fine. I'll head over when I feel like it. Don't piss him off, Yagami-san. Unless you want to lose your eyes, too.
Welcome, sir. Please, take a seat wherever you'd like. I didn't think you'd try to pull that. Running off and telling an adult. Like a fucking child. Oh, I just thought that the guy who actually runs the show would want to be able to keep tabs on his captain. He doesn't need to. So you keep your goddamn nose out of this shit. Understand? Or do I need to spell it out? Yeah. I'm hearing you loud and clear. So... I guess we're done here. We're not done until I say so. don't really work on you, do they, Tark? Well, I guess you always have been a fighter. None of us thought you'd last a day in law school. But you sure showed us. Went to night classes, passed the bar. You say you're done, but a guy with balls like you doesn't give up. You fought for your lawyer's badge, but trash with a badge is still trash. And it's about time to take you out. Ozaki! Ready to die? Huh? Oh, enough of this. You're dead! <sighs> this is some bullshit. You already went. Huh? It's only fair I take my turn. Yeah. 
about the eyes? One bullet in each. Man the fuck up, Kengo! Who the hell? No way. We gotta go. This way! Get them both! Let's go! Damn it. You don't give up, do you? Oh, shit. 
Let me borrow this real quick. Oh. Up, do you? Damn it. They finally give up? <sighs> Not yet. with it. Just who are you? I'd appreciate it. Thank you first. Why should I? After what you did to me this afternoon? I gave your phone back, didn't I? Then why even take it? What was the point of it? I was trying to get away from a cop. Asshole just wouldn't get off my case. But when I saw you on the phone, I had the greatest idea. Okay, go on. Well, I guess the first step was taking your phone. I knew you'd end up following me after that. Then, seeing you and me running in the same direction, the cop would think you were my buddy. And while he took his sweet time arresting you, I was gonna escape. I have to say, never thought you'd actually get away from him too, though. Eh. Guess all's well that ends well, yeah? And just now? Why'd you come save me? Good question. Why did I do it? Eh, beats me. <laughs> Interesting stuff. <laughs> Let's just say I wanted to apologize for stealing your phone. Lucky break, huh? You'd have got your brains blown out if it wasn't for me. You're telling me? Guess I owe you. In which case, we're even now. Hey. Why are you so dead set on this burglary ring? There's gotta be something better. <laughs> what? If you're looking for work, maybe you could join us instead. <sighs> and have the Yakuza out for my head? <sighs> Fat chance. Those guys from before were Matsugane family. But, uh, the cure is also looking for me. <laughs> you sure know how to sell it. <laughs> but, I don't think we can trust each other just yet, Yagami-san. What'd you say? How do you know my name? <laughs>
Matsugani family captain Kyohei Hamura is connected to the mole. Confirming his suspicions, Yagami's progress is impeded. The entire city is under Hamura's surveillance, and it went deeper than he knew. Alone and out of options, Yagami receives a little support. But the night is still young. Don't show your face again until you've got him. Search the whole fucking city if you have to. What, the kid in the mask? Find him too, dumbass! Ah! Come on, Kaito-san. Pick up, pick up. You've gotta hide. Busy. Thank you. 